Halo. Aku udah saya kan itu udah mau sampai Bro, ini Tadi gimana ya?
Hello. Hello. Hello, Samasya. Anyone can uh, respond a little bit? I'm so sorry. Can anyone hear me? Yes, that's good. Yes. Okay. Uh, it's 3 p.m. now in Indonesia. Okay. My name is uh, Mr. Terence Ho. Uh, I'm the Asia Business Manager of a uh, group in Asia. Okay. So today, uh, as, a, as a panelist of this Lab Indonesia, so I'm, I will be sharing this uh, topic of uh, definition of GMP washer and autoclave. Okay, so uh, we still call it is an Italian company. We are based in near Venice in a, in a, in a nice uh, city. So in, in nearby the town. Okay, so and then we are part of the Mille group. Ah, Selamat siang, Pak. Uh, okay, so let me continue. So today we uh, the the agenda will be uh, we would we will have some uh, we are sharing some of the key question from our end users. Okay, so we will talk about GMP requirements. We will talk about key differences between uh, this laboratory and also the pharmaceutical grade. We will, we will introduce a little bit of about our steel co pharma. And of course, we have some nice pictures of installation pictures to share with the audience. Okay. In the final, we'll do the conclusion. Okay. So first, we always encounter some of the questions that always shared by our, our clients in all around the world. Okay. So they will always they will ask this question: what is a GMP serizer and washer? Uh, why is GMP washer and serizer are more expensive? than all the lab equipment that they have. What are the major differences between these two types of equipment? When do I need to consider a GMP unit or even a GRP one? Okay, these two picture is, is a autoclave or serializer uh, uh, unit. Okay, so this is the outlook of a laboratory serializer. This is the outlook of a pharmaceutical grade serializer. The function is the same. Okay, they are autoclave. So their function is to serialize. Okay. What, but what is the major differences between these two? And this costs more than the laboratory unit. Okay, so first we need to understand what is GMP. Okay, GMP refers to production of food, drug products, and even API, not only to the equipment. Okay, this GMP is a very wide guideline all around the world. They talk about the production of food, drug, products and active pharmaceutical products. Okay. And then there is another term called CGMP, okay? the current good manufacturing practice, we call it CGMP. This is introduced by US FDA. The CGMP regulations for all the drugs, so it contains the minimum requirement for all the methods, facilities, controls used in the manufacturing process and Packaging of a drug product. Okay, so we always term our washer or slicer in the pharmaceutical industry. We name it as pharmaceutical grade. Okay, not GMP washer or slicer. We call it pharmaceutical grade washer and slicer. This is the correct terms or wording to be used. So there are some country that uh, when they write us the US, they write it as a GMP washer. Okay but we, we term it as a pharmaceutical grade washer that everyone is uh, much more easier to understand. Of course, GMP is a guideline that uh, include everything in the pharmaceutical production. There's a traceability, complaints, uh, facilities, people, quality management, even the hygiene in production. Okay. So GMP requirement for equipment. Okay. So the manufacturer of this equipment like us okay, must rely on other standards and guidelines beside the CGMP and GMP guideline. So we had to follow example like bioprocessing equipment by American Society of Mechanical Engineers. This is for the engineers like ASME, 
Okay, this is the guideline. So we also have to do the software automation part or even the machine automation part. We have to follow good automated manufacturing practices like GMP, we call it GAM, okay? So, and also some other healthcare in the hospitalization references will follow some of the guidelines. Example, some of the pharmaceutical manufacturer that produce this drug, okay, for the hospital use, okay. Sometimes we have to follow example like EN2F5, HTM210, or even the ISO 17665, okay. It's a reference in pharmaceutical application. And of course, there are a lot of standards in all around the world. We, have, we also follow our own uh, country of origin, like latest European directives and standards. So these are the standards that beside the GMP regulation, we need to follow also, okay? So to talk about the equipment for the GMP facility in the pharmaceutical industry. So the FDA regulation describe the CGMP for Finnish pharmaceuticals are provided is in Title 21 F CFR Part 210 and 221. So the 21 CFR part 11 is referring to the software, okay? So there are four sections in this uh, sub part D of 21 CFR part 211, okay? So it talk about equipment design, the size and the location. The location also is very important whether it is a correct location to put the, the washer or the autoclave or sterilizer. The equipment construction, how we construct the equipment, how we build the equipment, how we design this equipment according to the function, okay? And lastly, of course, the performance uh, side, we have to validate the equipment cleaning and maintenance, okay? We have also provide the operation manual, service manual, etc. teach how to do the maintenance part to all these users, okay? And of course, uh, there are some automation in this equipment. We have to talk about automatic mechanical and electronic equipment. So this, after you uh, design according to this guideline, so this FDA assessor and inspector or auditor, okay, will come and inspect and determine whether the firm or the pharmaceutical uh, production area has all the necessary facilities, equipment, and ability to manufacture the drug it intended to market. So it's a, it's a full guideline, okay? Equipment is only part of the guideline. So, the, the, it comes into the next question they have in our mind, okay? What are the key differences between a lab and the pharmaceutical grade, lab grade and pharmaceutical grade unit or system? Okay, the, the first thing is the mechanical design. So the mechanical design have to according to SME BPD, okay? We have the process monitoring differences, the control and the software system. Uh, the lastly is the design manufacturing and very important, the, all the documentation, okay? So he, this is the first uh, uh, topic that we're talking about the mechanical design differences, okay? In a uh, uh, pharmaceutical grade sterilizer or washer or system that produce uh, for, for this pharmaceutical manufacturing area, the fabrication of this system had, shall be performed in a facility where the product contact surfaces are protected from contamination. Okay, so it means that the area that you produce this pharmaceutical grade system need to be controlled environment in the production area itself. Okay, the second thing is the material construction. The material that used for this type of pharmaceutical grade system has to be higher grade. Example, 316 L standard steel, okay, a duplex standard steel, or sometimes the alloy, which is a more durable and proven to be acceptable, okay? And very important, all the parts, contact parts that uh, used to manufacture this system has to be no surface imperfection, okay? So you cannot have any flaw because the dirt or the, the bacteria, even the white, uh, will be stick to the, these imperfect surfaces, okay? The equipment itself had to be drainable, free, free of area where the liquid can be re retained. So liquid could cause bacteria to grow. And then all this liquid to drain, drain by itself uh, to, to a proper chain, okay? So a design of corner and the radius, maximum radius for the cleanability had to be minimum 3.2 mm, et cetera. So all these contact paths that are used for this system are considered higher grade, okay? So, and of course, 
uh, the piping for this uh, uh, system has to be pitched to design points as a specific slope. Example, the slope of recommendation is varies between 0 0.5 to even 3%. Okay, all the water had to be flow continuously, straightforward without retention in, in this system itself. Okay, the surface finish had to be directly or indirectly come in contact with the design product had to be lower uh, surface roughness, example, RA less than 0 0.6 micrometer, okay? So the second thing about this mechanical, uh, sorry, the third thing about this mechanical design is the process component, okay? The number of con connections should be minimized. The hygienic fit fitting should be used. Traded fit fitting are not recommended. You cannot use the like, example of a household, uh, this uh, fitting, uh, which they there's uh, some track Okay, this track will, will have this uh, bacteria or dirt tracted inside. Okay, it, ha it had to be sanitary or hygienic design. Okay, the dead leg should be ideally have a length divided by diameter ratio of less than two. Okay, standard steel surfaces should be passivated, sometimes even electro polish, we call it e polish. Okay, use of blind wells should be avoided, design of pumps and associated connections should be hygienic or sanitary design, okay? So these are as, this is an example of a pictures of uh, how, how the, the, the system looks like, an example of picture, okay? And in the mechanical design of this uh, material joining, okay? So the weld, welding, so the person, the welder, to weld this pharmaceutical grade washer or sterilizer are expected to do it in a sanitary or hygienic uh, way okay, so they weld it to make sure there's is sanit sanitary or hygienic system. Okay, the process instrumentation, the design of all instrumentation that is in contact with the washing or sizing process has to be hygienic. So this is an example of uh, the the piping. Okay, at the left top left corner, bottom left corner. Sorry. So this is an example of the piping that are uh, welded in a hygienic way. You can see uh, it's seamless. Okay without any uh, example of uh, the, the joint that can possibly caught the dirt or the bacteria inside. So this is example inside a, a sterilizer, terminal sterilizer that the probe, okay, are put inside the sample, okay. So, and the next one is the process monitoring. So this pharmaceutical grade uh, system has a function of process monitoring, so it can, it can monitor the whole process and record it down, okay? And, and, and keep it as the data. This data can be transferred out or printed out uh, as a report, okay? So over here, example that you can see there's seven temperature couple, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So in the in subsequent uh, time of example, uh, uh, 10 seconds, so you record it down. So if there is a differences, you will notify to the to the to the quality management department or quality management team. Okay, so there are some key process parameters that they uh, always want to know. Example, like the time of exposure. Okay, how long? Okay, they want to know the temperature of washing and rinsing solution. Uh, what, how how many percentage of chemical concentration that they have been using? And example, like they want to know the residue. So before they 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 take out the wastewater, whether it's completely clean or not, they know the they want to know the residue. They want to know the total organic carbon. They want to know the conductivity. Okay. So they want to know the pH of this uh, the water before, uh, or even the process to ensure it's totally clean. Okay. The, of course, they also want to know the water flow and pressure. Okay. So sometimes they want to know the rotation of the spray devices, whether it's really uh, running or not, turning or not. Okay. So it can send a data to the controller that keep this data, yes, it's running. If there's a failure, they will send out an alarm, okay? So in the autoclave, they also want to know the steam pressure, okay? There are a lot of parameters that the end user wish to know or wish to capture the data. So it can be customized or configured according to the client requirement, okay? So, and it comes to the next uh, topic about the controller or process mo monitoring and the software. The recording, can be achieved by in terms of paper, or sometimes there are some uh, they want to have CFR 21 part 11 compliance. 
So it's a software that it records all the data on the on the on the controller itself, and you have an audit trail and e-signature to approve. Okay. So the provisions of this recording process parameters should be included. So all these auxiliary uh, testing recording uh, uh, parts, okay, had to be included also. Okay. EN two M five has specific process monitoring requirements for temperature and pressure in synthesizer. In the GMP environment, it suggests non-propriety open architecture controller available from the market. Example, brand from Siemens or Allen Bradley. Okay, so these are the 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 the, the suggested uh, open architecture controller. You can customize the design. Okay, customize the interface of the controller itself. According, sometimes you want to put your logo of your your, your factory or even your, your society or your, your, your team over here. So it can be done also, okay? So you can develop and validate according to GMP guidelines and capabilities to interface a central SCADA system. So nowadays there are a lot of data that these uh, systems are capturing. They do not wish this data to be kept locally only, so which only you can utilize, uh, access it from here. So they want this data to be on the cloud software, okay, a cloud server, or even a remote server. So the data will be transferred out from here to the, uh, to the Scala system, to the cloud server itself to capture the data in somewhere else. So this is to, for, to protect all the data that was created from this system itself, okay. So of course, the last very important part differences between a lab and the pharma unit is all the documentation, okay, in the lab, uh, probably you ask IQOQ, installation qualification and operational qualification only, and maybe even the performance qualification, a PQ, but in the pharmaceutical uh, environment or grade or this, uh, this uh, uh, requirement, okay? So there are a lot of uh, paperwork required, okay? There are some example like we have uh, this GMP-5 documents that you need to have the FDS, functional design specification, hardware design specification, the software design spe specification, SDS, PNID, and even the layout, okay? Sometimes you want to know the welder details, how they weld it, the welding document, and sometimes they want to even do the, the uh, x-ray, okay? They want to do the boroscope to see the surface uh, roughness of the, the piping itself, okay? So of course, there is also testing and examination document, example, SAT document, and some compliance for instrumentation, okay? All the instrument, instrumentation to test or validate the equipment had to, the certificate can be included also. So sometimes even the traceability metrics or even the risk assessment to the, to the, to the site. So all these are optional. There are a lot of documents involved in the pharmaceutical grade uh, industry, okay? So this is a summary about the key differences between a lab and the pharma unit, okay? Example in the lab, so the intention use application of the laboratory washer, example, or sterilizer, okay? So it's the wash, dry, and sterilize the glassware and plasticware used in the lab. Sometimes the cages for uh, the animal facility, okay? So for pharmaceutical grade, it's used to clean, dry, and sterilize of different kinds of material and components, sometimes contact parts, sometimes a, a, a glassway, sometimes some tubings, okay? So uh, sometimes we want to, want, want to wash the, the all these uh, castle views, etc. So for the biotech and pharmaceutical manufacturing process, okay? The mechanical design, so pharmaceutical had to be hygienic or sanitary, okay? The process monitoring had to be record down all the critical process parameter, and the control sometimes had to, uh, it, it needs to be um, complied with GMP and 21 CFR part 11. So the accessories had to be hygienic design or sanitary design, okay? The documentation, so it's an extensive document package, okay? So the lastly, when the, the system is ready in the production area, so in the lab, so the, the, the end users will not ask uh, that we need to do a factory acceptance test. Okay, but in the pharmaceutical grade, so they, they, they will do this factory acceptance test before they accept the, the system itself. Okay, so sometimes they want to test also their, their product in the factory. 
So they, they send their, their product or their, 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 their equipment to our, our factory to do the factory acceptance test, okay? To, to do the cycle development with the customer itself, okay? Of course, now uh, uh, it's, a, it's a period of COVID-19. So all this FAT uh, is done remotely through online, okay? So this is uh, one of our uh, subsidiary of Steelco or division of Steelco, we call it Steelco Pharma. So Steelco Pharma provide the customer, which is the pharmaceutical industry customer with turnkey solution covering the washing and sanitization need. So it's comply with all the latest CGMP and GMP guidelines. So this is some of the customer example. Okay. So you have a uh, Bayer, you have a uh, Alonza, so GSK, Novartis, these are big clients in all around the world that produce the drugs, okay? So in the pharmaceutical manufacturing area, okay? So uh, Steelco Pharma provide this type of equipments for the pharmaceutical manufacturing industry. So we have the pharma, pharma grid or pharmaceutical grid parts and glassware washer, cabinet washing system. So we customize all the carts and trolleys. So we also do depyrogation oven, which is temperature up to 250 to 300 degrees Celsius for the valves, empty valves to remove the endotoxin. We have hot air drying oven to do all the, uh, to dry all the plastic granules or raw materials of the pharmaceutical manufacturing area. We have set steam, saturated steam sterilizer. This is steam sterilizer that function at one to one degrees Celsius. Okay, to, to sterilize the garments glassware or any kind of contact parts for the pharmaceutical manufacturing GMP area. We have decon lock, okay, decontamination lock, which is uh, using utilize of hydrogen peroxide H2O2 to sterilize all the heat sensitive or steam sensitive uh, equipment or material. So the, and the lastly is uh, currently, which is very important is the uh, rubber closure or the aluminum closure processing equipment we call it SPE series, okay? So this is example of a washer in the pharmaceutical washing uh, uh, manufacturing area, in the washing area, okay? So we have a small one, tiny, up to here, and up to the big one in the cabinet washing. Example, this is to wash the IBC bin, uh, the blender, okay? So it, it comes with very size, uh, tiny from 230 liters up to 10,000 liters, okay? So it, it can design all different way, customizable, according to the client requirement. Sometimes they want uh, the shape a little bit different, okay? They want the door to be either horizontal sliding, vertical sliding. They want to put the technical area on the left or right, or sometimes they want a, 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 a different, a triple drying, uh, out, uh, much more drier uh, when come out the end products, okay? So this is example of the, the cabinet washing system or bigger washer or large washer. So it comes with a spray bowl, example over here. So it comes down and it moves up and down and we turn 360 degree to clean the internal surface of the, 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 the IBC bin or the, maybe even the, the trolleys, okay? Even the racks, sometimes the stainless steel containers, okay? So it's for bulk uh, containers it used to wash, okay? So we have all kinds of uh, customization uh, design for different type of customer. Here is some of the example you can see. This is the, the tubing and the stainless steel cover, the containers. Sometimes they push, a, they put a contact pass of a stainless steel uh, uh, or inside a one trolley itself. This is example of the amber automated up and down. Example in Japan. So the, the users will be shorter in, in height. So they will use the automated uh, up and down for, for, for moving the, the goods into the washing system, okay? So we, we develop uh, all kinds according to the, all kinds of trolley or design according to client needs. Okay? So we make it in-house, we take it, test it in-house. Uh, sometimes the customer also have too many of this uh, auxiliary equipment or trolley. So they want to engrave it with laser. They'll put maybe here, facility one, facility two. They, put, they can put laser engraved over here also to identify this is uh, belong to which facility itself. So we have also sterilization solution, okay? 
So this is the cytogen solution that we have. First is the most common, which is a saturated steam sizer. Okay. The second one is the currently the, the famous one. It's called the ethylene oxide sterilizer. Okay. So this is an example for those uh, face masks. Okay. Use medical devices. Okay. So like gloves, etc. So we have steam, air mixture, and superheated water terminal sizer and deep hydration oven for all the wows. Okay. So there are also uh, closure processing equipment for the, clo the, the caps of the, the, the vaccine, etc. itself. Okay. So, and the last one is the material airlock for the H2O2 for the heat sensitive, moisture sensitive equipment. So this is the, the example of the saturated steam sizer. So the function is for steam resistant material, wows, bottles, glasses, fabrics, the garments like lab coat, etc. So seal and vented containers and rubber parts and machine parts. Okay. So this is hot air drying oven. For example, raw material like granulates, pellets, powders, porous loot. Okay. More on the on, on, on this type of uh, material to dry it out before it use in the in the in the manufacturing side. So this is a, a deep hydration oven. Okay. This is very important, uh, at, which is utilized of hot air for temperature range between 250 degrees Celsius to 300 degrees Celsius for a control period of time. So it's, it's considered a class 100 hour solution. Okay. Of course, the, you, you need to keep all the air in and out to be clean. So you have HEPA filters to function uh, for this. Okay. Because the A need to be heated, the A need to be clean. Okay, so the A will be filtered through HEPA filters, and then it heated up until this temperature, and to sanitize or sterilize the the valves, empty valves, uh, the all these uh, metal trays, glass containers, etc. Okay, so this is a decontamination law or decontamination uh, chamber. Okay, it use a uh, hydrogen peroxide H two O two. So in a vapor form, okay, this vapor hydrogen peroxide H2O2 is used to sterilize, example, uh, electronic uh, items to, to move inside the, the, the pharma manufacturing area. Okay, so, and we have a uh, stopper processing equipment. So this uh, machine have function of washing, rinsing and silicone and drying and cool down. And sometimes it will sterilize the caps for the valves, okay, for the drug itself, okay. So it, it have a partial load, manual and automatic loading, very versatile. You can use for all types of caps, and importantly, the caps are dry, very dry, before is uh it used to be in the in the capping area, okay. So we have different type of unloading area, and of course you can customize according to customer needs. So here is the the video to show how is a software processing equipment looks like. So the interesting part is this uh, loading and separated basket itself. Okay. So the function is they do three treatment manual. And it can be manual or automated up to the, uh, the client itself. This is the camp. So this is an example of automatic loading. Okay. So it's weight by based on the weight, then will be unloaded into a different basket itself. Separately in a different compartment or different basket. So the number of basket is depending on the system size itself. It could be 12, it could be 24. So when the caps goes inside this uh, basket, it's clean and made sometimes silicone. 
Okay, it's an endotoxin reduction up to log of three. So of course, well, when a low level for the rubber component, okay, high water level for aluminium cap, because aluminium will float. So at last, we will do also, we could do also sterilization in dry. Sometimes it is the client want to have sterilization and can perform also. And then it dries up to be less than 0.03%. Okay, so now we will see it's a combi machine that washing and also plays uh, together. And most importantly, after the process is finished, it's had to be delivered out for unloading. So it can be delivered out in different type of uh, uh, ways. Okay. For example, it can be automated up directly connected to the to the closing. So this is an example of a back seal, heated back seal, hybrid back. So uh, sometimes it's transfer out through a transfer system and then it's connected to the to the wild feeling or capping station. So all the cap will come down and then arrange in the in the in the in the correct manner and then it will be called cap to the to the wild system. Okay, we there is also a system called steam air moisturizer in the GMP area. Okay, this is using a, a steam and air counter pressure itself for those uh, end products or finished good products that uh, are sealed. Okay, so these are example like our contact lenses, our eye drops. So this uh, steam air moisturizer will process this this finished good and then to deem as a sterile to be used, okay? So, and also there is another type called superheated water sterilizer in the GMP area. So it's using hot water above 100 degrees Celsius. This is for batch, large batch, batch of uh, finished good products, okay? Here are some of the differences or, or example at uh, what, what this uh, system are used to treat. Example for steam air mixture is used for pockets, contact lenses, bird plasma, perfusion set, prefused syringes, bottle valves, heat sensitive materials, etc. So in a superheated water, it is used to treat bigger sizes or large batch, bigger amount, maybe 10,000, 20,000, 50,000, or even more. Okay, so this is a very big system. So it used to treat example like perfusion set, the blood plasma, okay, the blood bags. Okay, these are in the blood. Uh, back itself. Okay, so is uh the 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 way it's used is uh using superheated water more than one hundred degrees Celsius. It's a water shower. The water will will, will shower the, all the all the items. Okay, in a big system itself, you sometimes you rotate. Okay, and of course uh superheated water the time is faster. Okay, to process. So it, and of course uh because it's using a water. The superheated water, the water shower itself, the air finished good product came out will be a bit wet, slightly wet. Of course, uh, it can be achieved by using another uh, external drying system to, to become a complete dry. Okay. So and the utili utilities consumption for superheated water is uh, much more higher compared to steam emission. But of course, uh, when the utility consumption is higher, it's more, more faster in terms of the, the cycle time itself. Okay. So there is another uh, system called ethylene oxide sterilizer or ETO sterilizer. Okay, this is a current uh, uh, very useful system in the in the market, which uh, example treating uh, the face mask. Okay, medical devices for for the medical industry. So it used to treat example like plastic syringes, perfusion set, dialysis cartridges, heat sensitive rubber products, special surgical instrument, and. Uh, using pressure and the combination of uh, this ethylene oxide, which is carcinogenic, dangerous gas, and then it combined with the inert gas. Okay.
Okay, so it's pressurized under this uh, specific condition that optimally we want it to achieve to to uh, to sterilize the surface of the medical devices. Okay, so and because these are a lot of finished good products and the system is uh, very huge, sometimes you need some robotic arms or automated solution to be integrated to be uh, to 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 reduce the the heavy load of the 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 operators itself. Okay, so this robotic arm will 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 will, uh, will transfer the material to go inside this system. Okay, sometimes even taken out and packed to the packaging area. So this also can be. So the standard and certification that we are using to design our system of, of this washer or or sizes is a example of this ISO, EU, US, CGMP, FDA guidelines. Sometimes some specific um, pressure vessel requirement like CERLO, okay, PED for UK. So, and sometimes electrical design according to UL or CE and the software and development validation, GMP5, okay. So of course it's fully compliance with all the international standard that we have, okay. And this is example of a PLC and the SCADA software that uh, we use in our system. So these are top brands, uh, Siemens and, and Alan Bradley. Hello. Hello. Mr. Yeah, sorry, Mr. Terence. At the time, yes. uh, already over. So, yeah, oh. until 3, 3, 5, 55. Oh. Uh, let me go to the last part. Okay, and then, okay. Uh, yeah, and then we'll, we'll wrap it up in five minutes time. So this is uh, oh. some of the examples. Okay. Sorry, Mr. Terence, we only get one minute because the next yes. uh, after this we have another yes. seminar. Yes, yes. Thank you, thank you. Thank so, you. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I thought it's a uh, 45 minutes. Okay, 35 minutes. So these are some of the examples of the installations. So uh, that we have in all around the, the world. So uh, in South Asia example. So this example in Bionet, Fonko, and of course in Indonesia, uh, we have some of the very important. Uh, uh, installations, example, this uh, layer for red and broca product effervescent. Then there is also some uh, combination system for washing and sizer. sizer this is the example. So in conclusion, the pharmaceutical grade system are more expensive and takes longer manufacturing time. And uh, this grade of equipment is only required if the item is to be processed are in contact with the drug product that is being manufactured. So this higher grade required in the, is the item is processed in contact with the drug product itself. So thank you so much for uh, for your time. Okay, so this is uh, uh, the sharing session. And uh, let me know if you have any question. Okay, so there's no question, right? You can unmute yourself and ask if you have. And no, uh, we, we will wrap it up because of the time. Okay, thank you so much. And we'll see you again. <laughs>